So tonight's conversation should be very interesting considering the fact that uh, what you've seen with Stephen A. Smith and uh, how he apologized to only one group that he offended. I know when we first, when y'all first heard me come out and start talking and I started talking about a go along, get along game. As you can see, and I told y'all, it was a lot of tears of this go along, get along game. And our community is one of the biggest fuelers and components of the go along, get along game. And it's because we don't grow our own food. We don't have our own money. We don't have our own economics. We don't have our own community. We say it, but we don't really mean it. We still have to go to white guys and charge, woo, allegedly, uh, for our capital. And the moment you have to do that, you're not making money off the people. We used to have to deal with each other. We used to have to make money with each other. And we did. And the moment they opened up the floodgates, we all start running the white folk. And the moment a couple of us get a job, a job with our white boss, we tend to look down and talk down on others. And if we're going to really have a community, I know a lot of people want to make this platform a singular thing. Oh, it's just about the kids. No, I'm all for the kids. But us adults are teaching these kids. It's called learned behavior. So we have to train the kids, but we have to train the adults. I don't know what everybody's been looking at when they've been watching me interview these guys and I watch them and I allow them to be very disrespectful, very aggressive, cut you off. Don't even let you control your own platform. And then these same very guys turn around and be the victim because they're trained to cut people off. They're trained to showboat. They want to win the conversation. They're not trying to have a conversation. They're trying to win the conversation so they can run back to the pages and say, look at what I did. He's a busted bus, bus life. And when you have men that's more showboaty than women, it's dangerous. It's very dangerous on the streets when you do that. We have a lot of braggadocious, very flamboyant, showboaty men, and they claim to be heterosexual. 